In my video for October the 28th, 2018, video number 2889, is entitled, The Evolution of the Creator God. We have been told that God was perfect from the beginning, all-knowing, all-powerful, and everywhere present. Yet, in the very Bible I read every day for decades, it plainly says, let us make man in our image. Obviously, this is a plurality. Then we were told that God was jealous, visiting the iniquities of the fathers onto the children to the third and fourth generation. Perhaps there have been thousands of generations after that was supposedly written, and mankind is still being punished over and over again. Just look at the world to see the evidence abounding. Folks, we are on a prison planet, and whatever loving God there may be, it seems he, she, it, has been on a long extended vacation taking zero responsibility for the fall of angels and their apparent manipulation of human DNA. We are also told that there are long cycles of creation that last for thousands of years. What is true? Can anyone know for sure in a world of deception with the most evil entities in charge? Hopefully, God is evolving, just like humanity. Otherwise, you fill in the blank. <laughs> I wrestle with these things every day. While on the one hand, I want to believe a lot of the good things that are talked about in the Bible, and while I also admit that I overlooked many things for many years in my earlier life, still believing that the Bible was the Word of God, I scratch my head in wonderment how I could have missed some of the glaring, glaring problems with what is written in scripture as translated by King James and his crew. And I don't believe it's just King James and his crew. I believe all of the Bible translations have holes in them. There's things that are left out. The book of Enoch that is referred to at least a couple of times in the, in the Bible is not even included in the very in the very scriptures that King James authorized. So it's, they're not even in the authorized version. And of course, there are versions that have additional books uh, besides Enoch that are not included. And yet so many people, as I did, place their confidence in this book and place their confidence in this plural, plurality of gods that are so insecure that they're jealous. Folks, when are we going to think about these things? I like what Charles Finney said. He says, we need to continuously re-examine our, what we think is true, because truth is an unfolding process, just like evolution is an unfolding process. Now, I believe this is my belief, that man actually devolved, that man was created differently than we now seem to be, that he was created with talents, gifts, and abilities that far exceed where we already are, although we think of ourselves as advanced, we wouldn't be able, as I've said in other videos, to build a pyramid today, the way the pyramid appears even now. And we know that at some time in the past, or we're told at some time in the past, the pyramids even were shiny and covered with a, like a marble covering so that they would glow with the, when the sun shine, uh, shone upon them. 
there's many, many things, many problems that we run into when we try to fix everything in its place. I'd like to believe that God is omnipotent and omnipresent and, uh, and all, all knowing, omniscient. I'd like to believe that, that God had a plan from the beginning. But I wonder how that can possibly be true in light of what we see. Because the God seems to be, the creator seems to have taken a long vacation and not been involved and it has allowed our DNA to be messed with so that we're not as intelligent now as we were at some time in the past. We have lost our spiritual connection to our higher self, as it were, or to, to the divine. And we have allowed the lowest of created beings to be the rulers, to be the kings and the queens and the, and the priests and the popes and the people that hold significant po positions in the human culture. And as I said, humanity is incapable yet, with all of our apparent advances, incapable yet of creating some of the things that were created in ancient times and even more recently uh, with the uh, Coral Castle in Florida that was built in the 20th century we don't understand even how some of those things happen because we have lost our gifts, talents, and abilities, and they have been suppressed somehow so that modern man is easily programmable, and, and those that do the programming, for the, for the most part, are able to manipulate society in such a way that it continues to create war. It continues to create violence against one another. It continues to operate in a way that debases humanity, not uh, allows us to grow up and become the best we can be. Why is it that we have such a difficulty understanding that something is wrong with the picture that we can actually look at and see now. Why is it that so many hang on to what we've been taught when what we've been taught, if we examine it with an open mind, doesn't make complete sense? There's huge, huge discrepancies that become obvious when we stop and think about it. I want to see real change. I have lived my whole life wanting to see real change. And thankfully, many things are coming out now that reveal the corruption of those that have had leadership roles. Uh, I looked at videos of Gitmo or Guantanamo Bay, uh, not videos, but pictures of how it looked some years ago and how it looks now. And obviously, just in the past year or two, there, it has been greatly expanded. There's been a lot of stuff going on there. Does that mean that the criminals are actually going to stand military trials and be court-martialed, including Hillary Clinton, including Obama, including uh, Bush Jr. at least, if not Bush Sr. too, who's an old man by now? What's going to happen? What's going to unfold? in this new day that we live in, when so many things are coming to the surface, how easy is it going to be for people to give up beliefs that were long established over generations and embrace the idea that the changes that hopefully are coming about are actually a godsend and sent for the purpose of liberating humanity from the lies. These are my thoughts for this video, and I appreciate you listening. Thank you, and namaste.